This is part of the road into the mining town of Pogera. The continuous rain has not even made it easier for those that access this road. Public servants say since the closure of the mine, the road has been left to worsen. Road is back up. All the uh, business houses closed down. No. Schools closed. All, all public servants are now less local now. This is the only road into Pogara from its capital, Wabeg. While this road has been neglected for an unknown reason, it's been costly to the private sector. Michael Yandapake owns and runs a number of fuel stations in and around Pogera. He says the poor road condition is affecting his business operation. Road condition for people to car, people people car in and out of Road in Pogera. So for me, now two M1 or S1, we have some long term road condition in Pogera. So for me, now so I'm just sitting down nothing. Now number two, I'm more saying. We can work, we can send up, but we said we buy. No at man Mary, no at cash flow here. Concerns from both the public and private sector is for levels of government to intervene. Many say the road serves the mine and has helped contribute to the country and provincial revenue. They want authorities to do something and improve the road condition. Big brother, the lifeline blow. This land is really am all in the rule on the road. Am cut up and finish the rest of the world and finish. The way the assembly can immediate assistance from the national government or provincial government or look through the road so that people can move and come. Now sustain sustain the road. And we can block the way. Suppose you may lose in the road to the road now. It's time now. Pogara to Wabeg road here. I mean, no stable to Masia. Bloody war up now. Then it's like that every time. Jack Lepavu Junior National. MTV News.